Hello YouTube, my name is Grant. Hang on, welcome back for another video. Today's video, we are gonna change it up a bit. We are going to do a review video on the Cinch Gaming Review Controller, or you can say the Cinch PS4 Controller Review. And but any chance, let's get right into the video. All right, this is my Cinch Gaming Controller. This is where it comes like in the box. Uh, you can see right here, Cinch Gaming, right here. Custom controller for esports like that. It's a Cinch Professional Esports Tournament controller. All right, this is what this is what comes like in the box right here, the front part. This is what comes like it in the side right here. PS PlayStation 4, PS3 controllers. They make they still make last gen controllers. If you guys are wondering, PS3, PS4. On the other side, we have is the Xbox One controller and the Xbox 360 controller. On the back. They still have another Cinch Gaming logo, and which, if you look in the back, here, this is what they have in the back, with the features they have. Trigger stops, you can either go with traditional, adjustable, terminal buttons, LED, thumbsticks, shell colors, shell designs, why choose shit, why choose Cinch. Our controllers are less expensive, faster, more ergonomic, more durable, CinchGaming.com. And they have a variety of colors right there, LEDs, stuff like that. And buttons and trigger stops like that. Alright, let's open it up. This is technically, like, this is my opinion about the box. I, my opinion, what I think about, about the box. It's very good compared to the old one they had, which they had, like, a plain back. For example, like, uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys after I open this. Okay, first things first, as soon as you get out the box, you it shows you like your certification that you're like a Cinch Gaming owner and stuff like that. You can just pause the screen right now. On the back, this is, here it is, PS4 trigger stops and it shows you if you want how to do it. You can check out my video that I told you about how to adjust your tr adjustable trigger stops. Just like that. It actually came like this with tape. It came like this with tape. But I took the tape out, and here's the Cinch game controller. If you guys are wondering, use the box that I came in. For example, if you were to travel to your friend's house or a relative's house or anywhere wherever you're traveling, don't. Um, in my opinion, I would think I would reuse the box that came in because it's a very good, very good. I don't know how to say it, that uh, fabric material. It's a very good package that came in. You should use it, take advantage of it, because I, I would think this is much more worth it than buying, like, for example, if you were to get, like, a carrying case, for example. This is just a quick look at it. And then, here is the controller itself. Like that. I'll just put the box and everything else to the side. Just like that. Here is the controller itself. You can tell I have my Control Freak armor. You can check out the video about me installing it and all that stuff. My opinion, real quick, about this controller itself. The Cinch Gaming controller, I think it's very good. And plus, it does it to the armor. It looks like a very good controller itself. I would highly recommend a armor. Check, uh, pick it up. Because it takes away all the dust and grime and your finger marks. If, to, if you were, for example, to have like a black controller, pick it up. And it gives off a very good grip material. Which it is a plus side about that. Also, you wonder about my thumbsticks. I have control freaks. I use the CQC on the left and then the classic on the right. Which originally, this white one, you guys are wondering, what is that? It's like, uh, this is uh, where I came in with the Vortex, where I came, got the bottom note. It was the Game Impact VX for the PS4 controller. Which this is what I came with. The, this is like the classic, but it's white. That's the only difference. Anyway. A basic, a basic PS4 controller, a basic black controller, just like that. The only unique things about I have it about it is these uh, tr adjustable trigger stops. Which, I, in my opinion, I think this is the only company that has adjustable trigger stops. Which I'm about to compare it in a bit. Uh, having trigger stops and having without trigger stops. Which that's the cool thing about them. Having adjustable trigger stops, you just have to get your Allen key and then turn it on that stuff. You can check out my video also for about that also. 
unique thing and another thing unique thing they have is you see this this is cinch gaming right here which for uh for example it, they added on a, a decal onto a decal sticker onto your light bar which for example if i had to turn it on it would show like this look how cool that is that actually looks nice i just have to focus it in look at that look how cool that is it's got uh for example uh, you just have to wait but i'll i'll, just, I'll yeah look at that look at that blue controller it says cg cinch gaming awesome also i have grip on, on my controller the grip in my opinion is a very worth deal because I'll, I'll show you guys here this is without grip you can see that this is without grip unique thing about this controller in terms of grip it covers the whole entire rear shell controller like that that in my opinion because i was playing long games of call of duty for example and which about like 30 minutes later i was like feeling my hands they felt sweaty but after a while like my hands didn't even feel sweaty at all it feels like this and which i think this grip is better than the scuff grip. you guys will find out in another video about cinch versus scuff the buttons or paddles what do i prefer and all that stuff and my brother's gonna be involved with it because he's a scuff user which this is a sticker here there you go this is a sticker that they have for example if you were to return it they they'll have the number on it which that's thing and then the most important thing they have is these buttons i don't know if you guys could see it right there yeah yeah there you go there we go that's like a focus they have buttons and which the buttons just lay rest on your finger like for example i were to grip my controller like this they were just to grip my controller like this which i would think it's a very worth deal getting i would highly recommend getting uh these cinch controller because you could like for example um you could it, it just less rest than my hands how i hold my controller i i hold it like this ha not like this i would to hold it like this and then i would play like this and then pl i play tactical also besides that point let's get right into trigger stops R no trigger stops or with trigger stops this is no trigger stops i'll show you yeah, very close up a very 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 close up this is without trick stops that's a lot of motion you have to push down this is with trigger stops you know you just have to move right there compared to compared to this and which i wish i had four hands there we go two hands this is with it this is technically a side by side comparison just like that i'm about to show you guys onto the website what they have the features and all that stuff what they have and yeah onto the website we are at the cinch gaming website on the screen right now which they have a tons of features in the cinch gaming website you can see on the right screen the team stay sponsors stunner gaming vex gaming ar i'll go into de detail about that later on but this is the website they have all that stuff you can see what your home my account view account order status and help this is a tournament improved controller in which it's a professional esports tournament controller which we'll scroll down from here you could do lots of features trigger stops remapping technology tournament buttons custom custom led lights multiple thumb, thumbsticks like you could change them to like domed or xbox one thumbsticks or ps4 thumbsticks stuff like that variant variety of design shells and ps4 ps3 xbox 360 and the reason why they choose cinch is because of controls cost less a lot less controls are more durable ergonomic and faster the reason why i chose cinch gaming is because it's much more durable and the buttons that's why i chose them compared to scuff i'll do another video about scuff versus cinch in another video but yeah you could yeah you can customize the control uh, let's say i'll go to a ps4 control afterwards i'll go into xbox one controller all right we're on 
three, oh, it's just, I have to scroll down, like that. Let's say for the front here, I'm gonna make this my grandpa penguin cinch, this is just an example, but uh, I'll show you the official stuff that you could do, like the trim kit, what trim kit is, you could change the touchpad, all that stuff you can see right now, touchpad, option share, d-pad, and that home button, thumbsticks, you could change it to Xbox One thumbsticks, but I'm gonna change it to orange, cause, right there, orange, left and right, thumbsticks are orange, and change the, the button kit to white, like that, rear shell, give it out that cinch grip, cause the cinch grip is amazing, let's see, trigger stops, you can either do traditional trigger stops or adjustable, which I'm doing adjustable right now, and the new feature they just recently came out was, you could keep rumble packs or remove them. For each cinch controller, they always automatically remove the rumble packs out of the your controller, which makes them lighter. Which the, the what rumble packs are is if you keep the rumble packs is like keeping in like a basic that just leave on the vibration. If you take the rumbles are basically like the vibration that you have in your controller, and which that that's that. Uh, which the the cool thing is. They don't charge you for anything for the Roma packs to remove them or keep them, which that's the cool part. What they have a uh, the rush service, two to three days, thirty five dollars. They have four buttons, which for example, like this, you have the top button up there, and then a circle button right there, for example. Well, I w I won't recommend four buttons. I would stay with two buttons. And then they have extended warranty. No other company that I can find has extended warranty like this. In which it added to my cards. $225 expensive. If you were to do that many modifications. I'll everybody use promo code capital GPP. And also shipping is pretty expensive here. That's the only one downfall. Cause shipping costs about show you guys. Just scroll downwards about $14 and then $14 and then promo code GPP update my card. You save five percent off, which you save eleven dollars off of it. But for example, uh, another thing is here I'll show you some teams they sponsor, like some companies. Air Automatic Reload, you guys probably can know them. Below Zero, that they were, I think they were Ka Champs. I don't know what this is. Excellence Gaming. I don't know what that is. Revenge. If you guys don't know who Revenge is, they got second place at Ka Champs. Team Vanquish. Vex. United. Stunner Gaming. Automatic Reload. Noble Vanquish. Revenge. Below Zero. Carnage. Mutiny. All these teams. These are kind of like the smaller teams besides Automatic Reload. Which they do. Pro teams, apparently, uh, surprisingly. And which here they are. There you go. Small, small things. And then they have cinch picks, for example. What cinch picks is, uh, like the most, the most reviewed one they would pick is like, for example, if you want to have all this, look at all these controllers, like the Players Club, Squad Killer, stuff like that. Or Red Devil. Let's do all of them. Just show you just the scroll through of it. Just like that. They have all these controllers. For example, um, if you have questions, you can just send them at, uh, ask them a question and then they will automatically respond to you. I'll look at I'll show you the frequently asked questions. Just a small scroll through of it. They update it May 11th, 2015. You guys could just read through it, just pause the screen right now. Which you can use this control for other LAN events. It's approved for MLG, used for UMG, UGC, LAN events, or other major LAN events like that. Since you gave me since 2014, 2015, card champs. Yes, do you sponsor teams? Yes, of course. How long do, do it take to my, get my tro controller? Can I put a, a custom design on my controller? Stuff like that. 
what is the warranty period of the new controller, what does the warranty cover, all that stuff. Can I purchase extended warranty? Yes. All that. All that yummy stuff. And which, this is a very user friendly. If you guys have questions, you can email Cinch Gaming, in which they'll easily reply back to you. And then I think that's it for the. Hopefully, you enjoyed that video. Hopefully, you enjoyed that review video. I messed that part out, but whatever. Hopefully, you enjoyed that review video on my Cinch Gaming controller. Be sure to wait. Uh, be sure to find out, like, in a couple videos that I'm gonna post Cinch Gaming controller or Scuff. Just kidding, I don't have a scuff right here. My brother has a scuff downstairs, but I'll do a review video about a uh, scuff versus cinch in the future. But my name is Grant Penguin. If you did, if you enjoyed this review, video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to me if you even subscribe to Penguin Army or the Oh Wow Squad. As always, my name is Grant Penguin. I'll see you in the next video.